Hi friends, welcome to my car. Real talk with Richie. <laughs> it's good to connect with you. I have still been in Facebook jail. I'm still in Facebook jail. So Instagram's going to be my jam and where I'll probably share stuff and on YouTube. But I had a appointment with my functional medicine doctor today. I'm three weeks post-op endometrial ablation. And it was kind of interesting. What I'm noticing is my periods have been off a little bit. I had a period and then it was seven days and then another period. And the way that he described it, which I never really thought about, but it makes sense. The uterus, if you were to open it all up, the surface area would probably be about this big. So if you think of it, it's almost like having a scab this big on the inside of your body, right? The inside of the uterus there. So he said, you've really got to give it the whole process about six weeks to see how your body's doing. Because if you had a really big scab on your body anyways, it's going to take time and energy to heal that. So same thing. So it actually hearing that helped me show myself a lot of grace with my body and what's going on with everything, which is really helpful. And with the weird bleeding, he kind of mentioned you can do one of two things. I do take a bioidentical progesterone. We actually started that to see if it would help the cramping and the periods and it didn't, but it does help me sleep. So you can look at it and I would say like last week, that would be my normal period. So we're going to go ahead and start the progesterone, even though I'm bleeding a little bit and see if we can get that back in sync. But he honestly said the cramping's been a little bit more, but not near what it was before the ablation. And he mentioned, don't judge anything about this procedure until you're six weeks post-op. So we're about halfway there. We've got three more weeks to go and just see what happens. And my ob told me, give it about three months to really see what happens with your hormones and with your cycle and all of this. So it's still really good. Like all of the, um, I'm glad I did it, if that makes sense, because the cramping was minimized by about 50%, which is huge. It's a really big improvement for me. And the bleeding has been minimized. I don't have the heavy, heavy bleeding that I was having before, which is a really good thing. But I'm still noticing a little bit of feeling tired. And that's okay, because the body's still healing. So showing yourself grace with that. I'm getting ready for Kenya. I am less than a month away from traveling to Kenya. So that's really exciting, too. And starting to look at packing and what to do and all of that and just showing my body some grace and honoring this journey. So there's your update. I know I've been getting a lot of private messages from some of you that are thinking about doing an endometrial ablation. Again, so far, I'm, I'm really excited. I think you've got to create that time and space and see how your body is going to react and what that's going to look like. But there's your update. I'll keep you posted. You can follow along on this journey. And I hope you're having a great rest of your evening. And if you have questions about endometrial ablation or healing or any of that stuff, let me know. And I'd be happy to help. Have a great night. Bye.